Hello everyone, I am Adam Ant, and this is Sure Shot. Champions Online, this is a munitions build, a freeform build, and let's show you some of what he can do, and then I will show you the build. So let's just do a quick boost of energy here. We'll hit our active offense, and... See if we can take down the room. I'm not getting those guys, that's interesting. I thought I had them in range. So close. Mostly AoE built, but I can show you his single target capabilities as well. Burn down the 40, level 40 dummies. And one more swing with the active offense. And my fun AoE. Wrap it up with that. Ooh, so close to taking the whole room out. Ah, the respawns are too quick. That's pretty good. Pretty good room clear. All right, so that is what he is capable of. Oh, one last thing. We'll show you his sniper. Let's see if I can get that guy over there. Ah, oh, I didn't crit. That's a bummer. One crit, one time. There we go. Sometimes you get up, I can get 12s. Yeah, roughly 11 on the crits. Wow, my crits are, I'm rolling poorly. I've got about a 40% chance and that doesn't look like 40% to me. <clears throat> like one out of 10 shots. Hey, a crit, fantastic. And another one. Okay, so let's talk about the build. This is a uh, focused DPS build. Uh, we are in the ranged uh, DPS stance or build. And we'll take a look at the powers and how I put it together. So first things first. Super stats and gearing um i'm not really covering in these videos but i wanted to pump my ego and of course dex is important for uh critical chance and con is sort of an afterthought it's a super stat for sure but it doesn't really do much except keep me around the fight a little bit um having you know between having almost 8k seems like a reasonable amount of uh, health but it's not the best. You get dropped pretty quickly in this game in a DPS role. Um, so you need people to protect you or you need to be really careful and make sure you burn things down before they get to you. Um, so Khan is important, but it's not this amount of health isn't going to keep me alive. Um, here's the spec tree, just basic. All I'm doing is trying to get as much crit and take advantage of... Uh, critical severity and get as much crit as possible. So we went with Guardian, Avenger, and the Ego Mastery role. Um, we won't really talk too much about that either. But here's the fun part. So when I built this character, I tried some different ideas. I tried uh, one... I wanted to try the ultimate bullet barrage. It's not... It's fun, and it's, uh, it's kind of a fun version of the uh, main maintain that I used, Lead Tempest. But um, the cooldown is takes a long time and it doesn't last very long, so it's just a fun power. I don't know if it's a necessary part of the build. You could probably use that point somewhere else. Um, my energy unlock, I went with Killer Instinct. This gives me um, recovery on crits, I believe. Let's take a look. 
enhances specific powers, so my munition stuff that I'm using. And yep, crits give me energy back. So with a 40% crit chance, that seems like a good energy unlock. I'm going with Ice Shield, and I'll tell you some of the synergies there with Chill. Um, and I took the advantage on the Ice Shield, and the advantage gives me um, more range with the effect, the Chill effect. Uh, chilled form is the toggle form I'm using, and again, this gives me uh, chilled stacks, and it feels like it might synergize really well. Stacks up to eight times, and scales with dex and ego, and I get 14% more damage per stack. Um, and when I gain those stacks, I get energy, that's normal. Targeting computer is a fantastic slotted passive, that's what I'm going for. Again, it's an offensive build, and that gives me additional 10% critical hit chance and 15% severity, so that bumps me up to 50%. It's pretty solid. Nanobot Swarm, I like this to kind of refresh powers. It's just a self-buff that gives me, um, it reduces the uh, global cooldowns on things, so if I sequence that well, it gives me my powers back a little bit faster. Um, I decided to go with Unbreakable as my active defense. Active defenses are basically things that you use when things are getting rough and you need to survive a few extra um, you know, seconds to to finish off your foes. In for this build, um, because I'm doing so much damage and AoE and I can focus fire things down, sometimes Unbreakable will just keep me alive for that extra 15 seconds to finish off my opponent. Um, here's where it gets interesting. My active offense, I'm going with Ice Sheath. And that gives me, again, it synergizes with Chill, therefore that's why I was doing a lot of the other things with Chill. And this one is pretty neat. It gives me, uh, increases my critical severity for every stack of Chill on my targets. So when I'll show you, that I can't show you in this room because I'm not getting stacks of Chill typically uh, against the training dummies, but I'll show you in, the, um, in an actual combat walkthrough how that applies. Uh, and finishes off. It, it's actually really fun. Uh, after that, Rebirth is just my uh, ability to self-res, get back in the fight, and do a little extra damage. Um, my self-heal is something I'm trying, and I haven't tested this out at all yet. Um, it looks pretty interesting. It's from the um, the brick energy, or the brick uh, pool. And what it does, it gives me 15 seconds of uh, healing when I do damage. So again, when I'm in the middle of a tough fight and I need to gain some extra health for 15 seconds, I can hit that and it gives me 110 health every two seconds for six seconds. Whether or not that's significant, I'll have to find out. Lead Tempest is my main AoE attack. Two Gun Mojo is my main um, single target DPS. And I took Sniper Rifle at the end of the tree just because I wanted to try it. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I don't know. It might be useful in PvE, and it might. It looks like a fun thing to have. The range is extreme on this thing. It's 120 feet. Most powers start at 60. So, um, two-gun two mojo is... just want to make sure. Why does that tell me? Yeah. 50 feet? Hmm, that's even shorter than I thought. And then uh, Lead Tempest is also a 50-foot sphere. So 120 is pretty far. And that's it. And then my Energy Builder, Steady Shot. Nice and simple. So that's the build, and let's take it into the combat room and see how it looks. Now, as always, with, um, with these focused DPS builds... Survivability is something that uh, is questionable. You have to play it really carefully. Woo, floaty. That's a very low grab room. So we'll see how it looks. Uh, if I play it right, we should be able to take the enemies down. This is probably my most uh, effective build for this training room because of the AOE focus. 
So I'm going to try to go in without using any of my defensive toggles. We're just going to use offense and see how far we can get. I'll take on more of the room and use my defensive um, options. Now one thing we can show you is we can go way back here. Now in this game, if you haven't seen this before, all of your ranges can be checked by just the gray out. So that's 120 feet right there. We're going to pop him and then we're going to jump into combat. Let me get my acrobatics or my athletics ready so we can get in there right away. Eh, it was alright. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage, wow. I should have used my... I should use my um cool my cooldown reducer after I clicked it in the wrong order. All right, we took the room out, but we did or that group out, but we did have a little bit of a struggle there. Could have been a little more efficient with my clicks, but that's all right. Um, I can use Endorphin Rush a lot. Alright, let's get in there again. This time I'll get this guy's attention and then pull everyone into me. I thought there was a boss. There he is. too shabby but again I'm taking a lot of damage and it's a pretty it's a lot closer than it should be maybe I don't know health is reasonable and here we go no point in blocking almost it doesn't feel like blocking even does anything Ooh, that was as close as I could make it. Come on. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. That was as probably as close as I wanted to ever make that. And again, hitting my... Um... That's a good heal, but we're out of combat. That's why I'm getting my health back. So we survived. Uh, we did it. Probably some poor button pushing um, made it a little riskier or difficult than it should have been. But overall, I like the build. It is definitely DPS focused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably struggle in these sort of solo events unless I change my stance or add a defensive passive, but I wanted to put all my points into fun um, DPS damage roll stuff. So let me know what you think about the builds. In the description below, you can see the, um, the actual hero builder that I used and if you have any tips or tricks or different um, ideas, I'd be, be glad to hear them. And thanks for watching the video. Till next time, we'll do another build review on, I think I have a healer coming up next. But thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. And uh, have a great time in Millennium City playing Champions Online.